Hey guys, welcome back to Maths 911. Don't forget that at 6 o'clock, Science Catalyst is on, and I'm told that there's some fantastic science problems that they'll be doing in the hour from 6 to 7, so stay glued to your TV. We're busy with a challenge question. I did the first part of the question, which was an, an inequality involving an absolute value. Heather did the second part of that question, which was an inequality involving um, fractions. And she explained to you that you can't just get rid of the LCD. You really have to take into account whether it's positive or negative. She went into that, into that explanation of the inequality in a lot of depth, and it was really great, um, giving you really good education here on Maths 911. Let's look at the screen, and we'll see that what happens here. The question says, solve for x if the one inequality, which is the one I solved, and, emphasis on the word and, the other inequality, which is the one Heather solved. The question asks you to solve the two together, and now we have to kind of look at the two separate answers and put the answers together. So, the one answer was the answer that I got for the first, which was this. We said that zero, the x's lie between zero and six, and x cannot be 3. Let's just understand again why x cannot be 3. If we replace the x with 3, we get 3 minus 3, which is 0, and 6 divided by 0 is undefined. It's not because there's an absolute value there. It's simply because there's a 0 in the denominator. Replace the x with 3. You get 0 in the denominator. Zeros in denominators are terrible. We don't allow zeros to happen in denominators. So that's why we had to exclude the 3. If we look at the second inequality, the solution there is x less than or equal to minus 0, 0,46 or 1 less than x less than or equal to 6,46. And now what we have to do is we have to take the one solution, which we're going to highlight in yellow. There you go. And we're going to take the other solution, which we're going to highlight in lime green. And we now have to find the values of x which satisfy both the top line in yellow and the bottom line in green. So we're now going to focus on this word and. We have to find the values of x which solve this inequality and this inequality over here. Good. Let's go to a new screen and see how we're going to do it. When, we've ha when we're handling two inequalities and we now need to combine the solution, we draw ourselves a number line. Let's put in the values which we believe are the critical values. Naught is a critical value. 6 is a critical value. 3 is a critical value. 6 comma 4, 6 was a critical value, 1 was a critical value, and minus 0, comma 4, 6 was a critical value. Why do you think these numbers on the number line are the critical values? Well, if you look at my previous screen, you will see that those are the numbers, those are the numbers where we where the, those are the endpoints of the solution intervals that we have given in our calculation before. x lies between 0 and 6, and x is not 3, so 0, 6, and 3 are critical values. x is less than or equal to minus 0, comma, 4, 6, or x lies between 1 and 6, comma, 4, 6, so those are critical values. Okay, so what happens here now is we simply plot the solution. So the one was solution lies between 0 and 6 and not including 3. So we have a hollow dot and the solution lies smaller than or equal to 6 or 
it lies from 1, not including 1, to 6, 4, 6. Those two solutions, you can see I've represented the one on the one line and I've represented the other on the other line. And now, where is the intersection? There is the intersection. The intersection is from 1 to 3, excluding 1 and excluding 3, or from 3 to 6, excluding 3 but including 6, excluding 3, but including 6. Let me just check, I need to check that my answer is right there. No, excluding 6, sorry, excluding 6, excluding 6. Good, good, that's it. That's the solution to the challenge question. It took a bit of time. After the ad break, Heather's back to you with a caller. Is this frequency clear? Is this frequency 